In today's video for Alpha Universe, I'm gonna share with you everything that I have inside of my camera bag when I go out to shoot portraits on location. Welcome back everyone, my name is Miguel Quiles. I'm a Sony artisan of imagery and I'm really excited to show you everything that I have in my camera bag. So without further ado, let's get started. Up. The camera bag that I'm using these days is uh, made by Peak Design. I'll put the name of the bag uh, here on the screen because I don't remember it off the top of my head, but really nice bag, uh, carries a lot of my equipment. And inside of the bag, I actually have all of my gear kind of separated into these um, additional bags. So with that being said, let's start off with this bag here. This is uh, where I typically would have my camera and my 70 to 200 lens. So the camera that I'm using for the majority of my photo shoots these days, this is the Sony Alpha 7R4 and fantastic camera, full frame, super high uh, resolution, lots of megapixels, uh, which I love to see and have in my portrait work. Put that back here in the bag. And then of course, uh, my trusty dusty 70 to 200 F2.8 G Master version two, um, optically stabilized lens, sharp. Honestly, if, if, if I was in a pinch, I really could just go out with my Alpha 7 R4 and my 70 to 200 and I could probably get through the majority of the photo shoot. Um, there have been times where I have gone out to shoot and I know that really this is the only combination that I need. And so that's part of the reason why I have these separate bags within the larger bag, because I could actually just take this one bag and have my camera, my lens, and really just go out and do what I need to do without having to take the whole backpack with me. So inside of this bag, real simple, Alpha 7R4, 70 to 200 G Master. I'm gonna jump over to this bag now. And this bag has a few of the other lenses that I like to shoot with when I go out on location. So the next lens that I take with me is the 70 to 200 F2.8 G Master. This is version two of the lens. Again, just like the, the, the 70 to 200 G Master version two, it's sharp, the autofocus is fast, it's accurate. Um, really between these two lenses, Anything that I run into, I'm able to capture. If I wanna capture an environmental portrait, get more of the scene within the photo to tell more of a story, I could do that with the 24 to 70. If I wanna get more compression and kind of pull the background in a little bit closer to my subject, then I would use my 70 to 200. So really between these two lenses, I can do like 95% of anything that I would ever wanna do. Uh, but there are some situations where you wanna get maybe a little bit more background blur than what an f2.8 lens could provide you, but you still wanna get a really nice, sharp portrait. And so in those situations, I break out this guy. This is the Sony 85 millimeter f1.8. So full frame lens. It's a lens that honestly, I thought for the longest time was a G series lens and it turns out it's not. Man, it's sharp, it focuses fast, it's lightweight. So if I'm going out and I don't wanna carry a, a larger lens or a heavier lens, I can bring this little guy with me and get stunning results without too much effort. Put that back here in the bag. And then here in the center of the bag, so this is the HVLF 60RM Speedlight. And this is something that I would take with me regardless of whether or not I planned on shooting with available light. Um, I've got something here that I use all the time when I shoot with available light, which I'll show you in a moment. But I always like bringing a speed light with me because there are times where maybe I just wanna add a little bit of fill flash or maybe I just wanna add a little bit of something to the person's eyes uh, in the form of catch lights, which I have a lot of videos here on YouTube talking about that. If you're curious about what catch lights are, you could check out one of those videos. It'll give you some more information on that. But I love to have a flash that I could actually use to be able to create those catch lights create that fill flash. Um, this flash is actually very cool too, in the sense that you have a flash, but let's say if you're using this in kind of like nighttime low light situations, um, there's actually also a really bright set of LEDs that's built into the, uh, the front of this flash. So um, you can see it's pretty powerful. It's great for shooting video. If I'm trying to get any behind the scenes videos for Instagram or YouTube shorts or TikTok, whatever the case might be. Um, it's really nice to have a flash that actually also has an LED light. So this is something that I take with me for pretty much every location portrait session, especially if I'm shooting with available light. Let's put that back here in the bag. And then, um, 
I'll just put that in there like that. And then uh, here in the center, I have a, another bag, and this is kind of like what I call my MacGyver bag. Um, this is a bag that, depending on where I'm going, what the shoot's gonna be about, I'll put different things in this bag that potentially might be helpful uh, for that photo shoot. So some of the things that I pack in here are things like tape. Never know when you're gonna need to tape something up, so always keep that handy. Um, I've also got a uh, rocket, or actually it's called a blower baby, made by Nightcore. And uh, I'll... So as you could hear, it blows air. This is what I use to clean my camera, my lenses, any electronics that have dust or anything on them. Uh, very powerful, uh, doesn't damage your gear or anything like that. I've been using it for a while and so long as you're careful with it, uh, it's powerful, but it works really well. And then uh, also another accessory that I got here from Nightcore is, um, it's kind of interesting, it's a unique little product, but um, this is the uh, SCL10, and this is actually a power bank. So I use this to sometimes charge my camera if, let's say I have a long day of shooting, my batteries are dying. Um, I use this to charge my cell phone, things of that nature. So it's really handy just to use as like a, a power brick, but it's kind of unique in that you also have this which is a LED light that is built into this power bank. So at times I tend to use this if I'm shooting in low light situations or if I'm out at night shooting portraits, sometimes I don't see what's inside of my bag. So I actually just use it to light the inside of my bag to see where my gear is at. Um, again, you could use this for um, lighting a person's face in low light situations. Um, so it's got a lot of functionality, a lot of use. Uh, you could change the color temperature of it as well, which is handy. So I always keep this in my bag. And then uh, I've got a bunch of these inside of my bag. These are little uh, miniature A clamps. And these are super handy if you're photographing somebody who has clothes that, let's say maybe don't fit them well or just you know, they're baggy, whatever the case might be. Um, you could use these little A clamps to clamp their clothing, make it a little bit better, more form fitting, uh, things of that nature. So really helpful. I've got a bunch of those here in the bag. Of course, I've got my uh, extra batteries. Don't go out shooting without at least two or three batteries just in case. And then speaking of batteries, um, I've got this um, OmniCore OmniCharge or yeah, OmniCharge. Um, this is uh, kind of a same idea as the battery brick. Uh, so you could connect things through USB type A, but you could also connect USB C and you also have a uh, household port there as well. So if you have some other device that you're trying to plug in, whether it be, you know, I mean, there's all kinds of things. Anything you would wanna plug in at home, you could plug it into this thing and it's gonna give you uh, some charge. Much more power as well than what you're getting from that smaller night core. Uh, brick, but you just have a lot of flexibility with being able to charge a lot of different things with this. So this comes with me everywhere. And then um, I've got a bunch of these little um, bungee cables. Uh, these things also come in handy for a lot of different things. Oftentimes if I maybe forget them in my bag, I always make a habit of like wrapping one of these around my wrist. Um, just in case if something happens, I need to hang something up or tie something up. Um, it's really nice to have these, these bungee cables on hand and you'll either see me with them on my wrist or they'll be inside of my bag. So let's wrap this thing here back up. So I've got this other accessory here that um, I haven't seen too many people using this and it is so helpful and so useful for location portraiture. Um, this is a reflector that is made by a company called Lastalite. And what's really nice is it fits in this little bag. It looks almost like it could be an umbrella, uh, but check this out. So inside of the bag, you've got your reflector fabric, right? So you've got, let me move this here. So you've got silver on one side and you've got uh, white on the other. The white is a little bit reflective as well, um, but this really helps to be able to fill uh, shadows, uh, block the sun. It, it serves a lot of purposes when you're shooting on location. And then check this out. So this is where the reflector actually like connects. So where the fabric connects to this. And I'm gonna try to set this up here really quick. All right, and here we go. So we've got the, the ring kind of set up here and we'll take the fabric. And basically the fabric just clips on
All right, so here it is, kind of hard to see, but um, this is the uh, reflector kind of all the way put together, silver on one side, you've got white on the other. And basically I'll use this to be able to fill shadows on the person's face if I'm photographing them. You use it to uh, kind of block light as well. Uh, very useful, and then once you're done with this uh, reflector, you can basically take it, put it back inside of this uh, little sleeve, this little pouch, put it back in your bag, close it up, and you're back on your way home or to your next location, whatever the case might be. So this is what I take with me pretty much all the time when I'm shooting portraits on location. If you have any questions about the gear that I have in this bag, let me know in the comment section below. I'll answer any questions that you have. Also, let me know, because I'm curious, what gear do you carry with you when you're shooting portraits on location? Leave that in the comment section as well. Make sure you subscribe to Alpha Universe because we got new videos releasing all the time. Now, if you want to learn more about shooting portraits, you want to learn new techniques, need new inspiration, check out one of the videos that you see here on the screen, and I'll see you there.